this is Mr. Ward, and this is your Pre-Algebra Do Now 26.3 video key, and we're going to be using the same principles of exponents for solving uh, these that we would with uh, whole number or negative number uh, exponents. So we we'll apply this the power law here. So x to the two fifths to the three fourths, we're going to be multiplying two fifths and three fourths. So that's going to be x to the two over five times three over four, and two fifths times three fourths is going to equal x. So that'll be x to the so two fifths to the three fourths will be two times three is six and 5 times 4 is 20, and of course we can reduce that. Okay, you could have reduced it early too, uh, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to reduce it. I can factor a 2 out of 6 and 20, so I end up x to the 3 tenths power, which if you wanted, you could express as x to the 0 0.3 power, if you like. Both of those would be fine. Now the next one, it's going to be the product law. Since we've got two, two of the same base and we're multiplying them, we're going to need to add one-third to one-fourth. So that's going to be a to the one-third plus one-fourth. And of course, we got to dip into our common denominators toolkit for that. So I'm going to convert thirds and fourths into twelfths. So one-third becomes four twelfths, and one-fourth becomes three twelfths, and so that becomes a to the three plus, four plus three twelfths, which is going to be seven over twelve. And that is your answer. <clears throat> the last one is a challenge level question, but it's actually not as complicated as it looks. So I've got a and I've got b here. So let's look at a. I'm going to be using the quotient law with the exponents for a which means I'll subtract this expression, negative 1 plus m, from m. And I'll be subtracting m from m plus 1 for b. So let's first deal with a. a is going to be to the m minus negative 1 plus m. And then b is going to be to the m plus 1 minus m power. So let's deal with a first. So if I'm doing m minus, let me actually copy past that whole row. Okay, if I'm doing m minus negative 1, that's the same. I'm going to drop these parentheses. I'm going to say m minus negative 1, and then that'll make the negative makes the this m negative. So Basically, if I drop the parentheses, the signs of both things in here change because that minus represents a minus 1 that I need to distribute through there. So that becomes just minus 1, actually plus 1, I mean. That becomes plus 1, and that becomes minus m. Okay, mm, let's go ahead and finish that. So that's going to be a to the, well, what's m minus m? We'll deal with our like terms. M minus M is just nothing. So it's just A to the first. Okay, now over here, I can drop the parentheses as well. Uh, I don't have to worry about distributing anything. So it's M plus 1 minus M. And so that's going to be B to the, well, M minus M is 0 again, plus B to the first. So this just ends up being AB. And that is that. I hope that helps.